My name is Tanuja Pereira Raymond and I am the Director of Kinetic Fitness, Kindred Food and Kind Mind Hypnotherapy. Um, well, I got into the fitness industry um, 14 years ago in London um, and just like the fitness industry here, it was a real boys club, it always has been. And um, I kind of had to carve out my own piece of the pie. Um, I wasn't interested in competing with the men because I do believe that men and women are different. And so I branched out on my own and I started training a lot of uh, female um, artists actually, uh, music artists who were getting ready for tours and things like that. So that was how I got into the industry in the UK. And then when I moved to Sri Lanka, um, I was one of the only females in my industry. Um, so again, it was a case of carving out a space for myself because there, there wasn't a space actually unless I was willing to go and work in a gym alongside other men, that's not what I wanted to do. In the field of fitness within the space that I hold at Prana Lounge, uh, Kinetic Fitness has always been about serving women predominantly. Um, we have always been there for mothers, working mothers, and women of all ages, shapes, sizes. Um, it's always been a very inclusive space, um, and that's why we have a beautiful community of women that really support one another. Uh, and have continued to do so for the last eight years. What I would say to women who are coming up in this industry, especially young women, um, it's just to be a little bit kind when you're training people that are older than you. I really had no idea when I was young all the challenges that people that were older than me were having to face. Um, you know, so I would say just be a little bit more empathetic. Understand that women go through so many different phases of their lives in their bodies with their hormones. Uh, from you know just hormonal imbalances to having children and how that affects the body with c-sections and even you know natural births and all these things how they affect your body how menopause affects the body how the body changes for women when they get older with things like osteoporosis you can't do a one-size-fits-all training program for everybody you have to treat each woman as an individual and train them accordingly and you know, even with me, like when I, even before I became a mom, I always made sure that my space was, was a place that women could bring their children to. I have had little children sitting in my studio while their mothers worked out because I've always believed that having an outlet for women is so important for their mental health, a physical outlet. Because if you are not taking care of yourself as a woman, then you can't give to your children. To your family it's like you can't fill another person's cup if your cup is empty and i am a firm believer that working out and taking care of yourself giving yourself that one hour a day is so important for women so that they can show up for their families in the best way that they possibly can